Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. This is part two of my sister lock questions that you should ask at your consultation. Uh, before we get started, my name is Brittany. I have 436 locks. I've been locked now for a year and nine months. I am coming up on my two year anniversary and it took approximately 15 and a half hours to install my lock. So I've enjoyed my lock journey thus far. I have been sharing my journey with you all for quite some time. So be sure to check out my sister lock playlist. There are tons of videos dedicated to my locks. And yeah, let's jump into the video. So I kind of know the, the questions like off the top of my head. So I'm just going to try to go through them as quickly as possible and give you all an overview. So I mentioned in part one do's and don'ts and I talked a little bit about the braid and band method. If you're not familiar, braiding and banding is the preferred method for how we, those of us with sister locks, wash our hair. I think a great question to ask your sister lock consultant is, if the braid and band method will be the method of choice or the preferred method moving forward for the rest of your lock journey. For me, this is a question that I have for my consultant. It has been weighing very heavy on my mind in terms of um, washing my hair. I just want to make sure that you know, I'm falling within the guidelines of what I'm supposed to do when it comes to washing my hair, but I also want to be realistic as well. I think braiding all of my hair and putting rubber bands at the end for me it's just very timely and it's a process that i don't look forward to doing so i think this is a really great question to ask at your consultation just so that you can set clear expectations for yourself moving forward another great question to ask at your consultation is uh, surrounding shampoos for me when i first got my locks installed i was gifted a box and it had the sister lock branded shampoo but once i ran out i just started using shampoo like i did when i was a loose natural and i think it's really good to get recommendations from your sister lock consultant because at least if you're getting recommendations and you're purchasing what is recommended, then you're following within what it is that they want you to do. And that's always a great idea. So just find out what types of brands or what brands of shampoos are uh, recommended. If they don't have a recommended list, then you asked, just buy or use what you've been using before. But it never hurts to ask and just get that up front so that you're you know, doing what you're supposed to do. All right, so moving right along, another uh, topic that I think should be discussed at your consultation is how to prep your hair for your install date. Uh, I know for me at my consultation, my consultant is very thorough. She's very upfront, but she's also been doing sister locks for a very long time. And I think over the years, you just gain so much experience. So when you do a consult, you wanna provide your clients with all of the information, but that's not the case for everyone. Some people don't have a structured consult. So I think it's important to ask questions if they don't come up. And talking about prepping your hair is very important. For me, I only had one day to prep my hair. I was in a wedding the weekend before, so I literally wore that hairstyle the entire week. I wish I would have had more time to really wear my natural hair, but because of how things happened, that's just what it was. And I ended up prepping my hair on a Saturday, making sure that my hair was free of all products. So knowing how to prep is very important. And last but not least, this question is all about your Sister Lock consultant. I think asking your consultant what they like most about Sister Locks is a great question to ask. It'll give you all an opportunity to have an open discussion about the hairstyle, about the brand, and just be able to connect on why your Sister Lock consultant has chosen to do Sister Locks and what they like most. And then also it'll help you to, um, you know, it, it'll help you embrace the style, but also you come to your conclusion why you want to get your hair sister locked. I think it's a great conversation starter. It might, should, it probably should be the first con first question you ask when you get there, but I just think I saved it to last because I thought it was the best question to ask. So I think all of these questions are really great questions. Like I said, this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one, I'll link it here. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Be sure to drop some other questions if I happen to miss some. 
down below because sharing is caring and I will see you babes in my next video. Peace for now. Bye.